Welcome to Lovely Lovebird Designs. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this adorable parakeet on the rainbow loom. And you can really make this into any type of hookbill bird that has a long tail. It can be a conure. It can be any kind of parrot. And I really love how they came out. And he has a little hookbill, as you can see. He's in a flying position. And I added a little bit of blue here because some parakeets have a little bit blue on top or a little bit of white. You can, you know, change it around on the beak. And I just love how he came out. I used neon yellow for this one and neon green and black. And this one was, is white and black. And th I believe this is neon blue. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this one with the blue. But if you want to make any other color variation, just swap out the colors for this one. So if I'm using black and white here, you can use the yellow and swap out yellow for the white. And just, you know, have fun with it. He is adorable. I also made the simple feet here so you can actually rest him on a twig or a pencil. And he'll actually stand. He looks pretty awesome that way. And also, if you just move his tail back, he'll stand on the table too. So he'll stand still. So different ways to display him and also just display him like this or hang him in the, on a mobile. That would be awesome. So let's get started. It's a single loom in a staggered position. Okay, once again, I'm gonna make this one. So I'm gonna use white and black for the top, it's going to be a single white and a single black. And it's going to be from this pin to this pin, then another white and black on the right side. And then two more stitches of white and black on the sides. So it's a total of three stitches. So one, two, three. Then we'll repeat on this side. Okay, now the middle is going to be white. And if you're making this type of bird, you make it yellow or any other color. There's all yellow parakeets. There's all green parakeets. So this is going to be a double white in the middle. Okay, another stitch. It's going to be three stitches in the middle of double white. Then we're going to make the side double white also. So now we can work on the body, and I'm going to use blue. So this is double blue, and we're going to make three stitches for this one. Okay, so one, two, three, then three more on the side. Then on the left side. Okay, and one more. Okay, so the tail is going to start at this stitch. I'm going to include um, some blue in the tail. If you want the tail a little just black all up, or different colors you can do that too. It's just gonna be a single strand. So I'm gonna make blue right here. It's a double. I'm actually gonna bring the tail to the side this way because I'm gonna make the wing on this part. So I'm do a double black. And 
and these are all double black. So I'm just making a black tail. And they have pretty long tails, so I'm going to make him his tail pretty long. Okay, capping band will be a single, wrapped four times. Okay, structural bands, we're going to do structural bands, then the wings. So I'm going to use a blue. It's going to be one and a half. Um, so it's going to be a single. Wrap it. This is one time. Twist it. And then bring it on that pin and bring it on this. So it's going to be a single. Wrapped once around and then twist and brought on these two pins. That's one and a half. Twists. Another one and a half here. Another one and a half here. And then I'm going to do another one and a half here, blue. And then I'm going to do another one here with white. Oops, right there. And then another one right here. Okay, let's make the eyes. We can push this down. I'm going to make black eyes. It's going to be a single. You can make a figure eight and then take it again, wrap it again, or just wrap it four times. Okay, then I'm going to take a single white and bring the eyes on the single white. Then I'm going to place it on these two pins. Separate the eyes and bring it down. Okay, so it rests above these little um, structural bands. So it looks like that. Okay, so now let's make the little legs. I'm going to push these down. The legs are going to be right here and here. I'm just going to use basic tan. It's going to be a single wrap three times. Then it's going to be another single, twist upon itself, and bring that right over it, bring it back on there so it looks like that. Another single twist. Okay, and then we're going to place it right here. And then we're going to make another one. Single wrap three times. Then a single twist. Okay, so it looks like that. Another single twist. And put it right here. Okay, so the wing. I am going to use whatever colors you want. I'm using, like, if it's a blue body, make little blue spots this way. So it kind of makes, like, a really beautiful shape to it. And you can do whatever colors you'd like, but I'm going to make it like this. And I did the same thing here. I used yellow for the capping bands. Then it was the color um, green, and then it was the black and the yellow for the wing. So I'm going to do the same with this one. So it's going to be a black and a white. And it's going to be four stitches long. So we're going to go this way down. So these are all black and whites. Okay, 
and then the end of my wing, I want it to be a white point. So I'm going to take a single white and wrap it four times. Right there. And now this part is going to be a white wrapped four times again. And with a double blue. Okay, and we're going to place it on this pin. Okay, the next one is going to be a single white, wrapped four times again, double blue. Make sure the white is in the middle. Then a single black and single white. And we're going to place it right here. Okay, the next little wing is the feather. Single white, wrapped four times. Then a double blue. And a single black and white. Then another single black and white. And we're going to place it right here. So it's blue and then two stitches of single black and white. Okay, now we're going to loom. We go underneath and we're grabbing the black and the white. Okay, so this is what he looks like. You can take it off the loom. And he's on the thing, and you can stretch him out, and he curves up a little bit too, so it looks like this. So we're going to place it right here, above this white part. Okay, and now we're going to do another wing. So it's going to be a single black and white, four stitches. Okay, white capping band, four times around. Okay, and then let's get to the little feathers. It's going to be white, wrapped four times. Then a double blue. Okay, make sure it's in the middle. And we'll place it right here. Okay, another white, wrapped four times, then double blue, then a black and a white. And I'm going to place it right here. Another white four times, double blue, and 
and two stitches of the black and white. place it right here. Okay, we're going to loom the black and white. Okay, and I'm going to just take it off like this. stretch them out, curves up, just like that, and we're going to place it right here, so you can push this down, okay, so this is your layout, make sure yours looks like this, and we can start looming, Okay, so I'm going to start here at the blue. I'm going to do the tail and the middle last because we have to put the beak on at the end. So I'm going to start with the sides first. So we're going to go underneath this part and just grab this blue. Okay, underneath the tan and that capping and that um, structural band. And we're just grabbing the blue on the bottom. Now we're in the white section, and bottom is black and white, so be careful because it's two colors, it could be a little tricky looming. And straight to that middle pin. Okay, now we'll go to the left side, only the blue on the bottom. the black and white at the bottom. Okay, so now we're going to do the tail. It's going to be a long tail. Now we're in the blue. Okay, now white. Okay, now we're going to stop. I'm going to put the beak right here. We have to go and get four tans. And then, if you want, I made some parakeets have some color on in this section. I'm going to make a blue for this part, just like this. And if you don't want any color there, you don't have to add the extra band. And it'll just be, you know, the white in the background, just like that. So depending on how you want your parakeet's beak and nose, you can um, add the band or not. I need one blue. And then if you don't like the blue at the end of it, or the white, if you can make this band white also, you can just snip it off because it's just an extra band. So you need a single of a beige wrapped four times. Then you take a triple because the beaks are a little bit big. Bring that right in the middle, 
So it looks like this. And then I want to take my blue and I'm going to wrap it three times. So it looks like this. Then bring that tan back on there. And what I want to do is I want to bring this just a little bit snug toward the left side because at the end we're going to move this band down so it's more hook bill. So it's going to be a little bit to the left. So it's going to look like this. So then I'm going to go and grab this white band and I'm going to slide the beak on that white band. Now I have the blue and the rest of the beak. Then I'm going to bring the white back on the pin and loom the last white stitch. Then I'm going to take a double white and use this as my little slip knot. Bring it in the middle. Pull taut. And this beak. So I want the blue to stick up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to grab that blue and bring it up a little bit. There's three bands there. One hiding in there. So it's showing a little bit just on the top. So this is the way he looks like and now we can take him off the loom. Start with the tail. Now the legs. Here's my beak. I'm going to just bring it up. Okay, the top. Okay, we don't need the loom anymore. Okay, you can stretch him out. Bring the legs down. Tail straight. You can move it, sometimes it's a little tight, so you can move it just a little tad to make the legs a little bit more straight. His beak is looking awesome. His eyes could be hiding, so you can pull out the eyes. You can squish in that part. The wings look great. And to hide this, you can just tuck it in the back. Okay, hide it in the back. And remember, if you don't want the blue there, you can just snip it too and take it out and he'll look like this. So there's two different, you know, variations with that. And I think he came out adorable. And also, if you, to make this more hook bill, you can bring this little um, band right here down. Down more, and I'll make it more pronounced. So this is the parakeet. I hope you like this tutorial. And we can bands a little bit more straight on the tail. And he looks awesome. So I hope you liked him. Please subscribe to Lovely Lovebird Designs. I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, one more thing. If you want him to stand up, you just have to move the tail to the back, and he'll stand. And if you want to rest him on anything, you just put your hook through or your pencil or anything, and he'll stand like this too. Okay? Or a twig. He'll look awesome. So once again, please subscribe, and we will see you soon. Bye.